Hello, welcome to my channel Judge All Nation. In this video Christian Prince will make understanding and education about Islam to all Muslims. Also Christian Prince educates Muslims that in the Lord Jesus there is truth and no other. Now let's take a look and see what Christian Prince will tell you by arguing with Muslims. Enjoy watching this video and God bless you. A guy, his name is Al Qurmuti. He came with his he came with his army. He destroyed the Kaaba, and not only that, he was shouting, "Where is your elephant? Where is your birds?" Because there's a chapter oh, in the Quran. He's a crusader, right? Was he a crusader or something? Or no, no, he is a, he is a, he is a Muslim Shia. <laughs> oh, so he's a Shia. So that's uh -huh. what you believe that he did. But hold on, why are you changing the topic? What does this have to do with this? Who cares? Who is he? Even let us say he is a or let us say he is a Christian. Let us say he is a Hindu. Who cares? This is a proof that everything you have is a lie. According to Muslims, Allah protect the Kaaba. Here we go. The guy, he destroyed the Kaaba. He took the black stone. He make it, according to you, the black stone erase your sin. You said, Allah, he says so. Okay, so this is the most part of the Kaaba. He destroyed the whole Kaaba. He took the black stone. He do it. He make it a poop stone for 21 years. And then in order to get it back, he did not give it to you back. He gave you steward through rocks. Look what you have. What is the stone? Allah could not preserve the stone. How you Muslim you want to you must have kissing what? You're kissing the wax. Where is the stone? All right, thank you. We have patrol. Are you a Muslim patrol? Hello, I say, brother. Hello, Christian Prince. Uh, it's an honor to meet you. No, I'm, I'm not a Muslim. I became like Christian two, three months ago. But I had a few questions that I always see like Muslims bring up on TikTok and stuff. And I have no idea how to reply to them. So what you what you used to be before? Um, like two, three years ago, I was a Muslim. Then I became an atheist because I look at the Quran and I saw that Aisha was like six and other stuff that you can like kill people. Then I left uh, Islam and three, three, uh, two, three months ago, I became a Christian. All right. So what the question the Muslims, they ask you? Like most of the times they bring up the Old Testament, like why God uh, killed this, why God killed that. Well, and uh, I have no idea how to reply to them. Like, what, what well, would you say? Well, okay, this? this is a good question. Why God do that? You know, if you read the same chapter, any chapter, like the chapter of the story of Samuel, well, this is mentioned in the Quran, that the, 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 the enemies, they conquered the Jews, they killed their children, they raped their women, they took their holy book, and then Allah, He commanded them, He commanded them to go and yes. kill them and slaughter them. And the Jews refuse. So the same story they reject, it is in their book. So the Jews, they believe in the law of eye for an eye. You come, you kill our women, you kill our children, you destroy our nation. Well, we go and we destroy your nation. And this is their God command. In, in the top of that, uh, and this is, can be found in the Quran in chapter 2, Al-Baqarah. So the stupid Muslims, they... They caught the stories, they didn't know that it exists in their own book. This is how stupid this religion is. Hilarious. But you know, because they are debating people who do not know what Islam is about. So they mention to you something, you yourself do not know how to answer. But the second we show them that the same exact story is in their book, then they say it's okay. Muhammad, he killed the women and the children of the enemies. They ask Muhammad, what about those children and women we are killing? He says, they are from them. And if we go in the Quran, you will see the story mentioned, how those people, they come, and you can read the interpretation of it. Jihad is commanded according to the Quran. The same as commanded to the Jews. Not only for the Muslims, because the Jews, according to them, they are Muslims. And when those people, they attack the Jews and they kill their women and their children, Allah command them to go and fight them and kill them, but they refuse. So Muslims are very hypocrite people. And you know, look, oh. look at the chapter I'm reading here. I mean, what those verses have to do with the story I'm going to show you. I mean, what does it have sex with the children, the divorce, the Quran is messed up, you know. Why even the story of the Jews is exist in such a place? Shouldn't be, you know, shouldn't be is, uh, uh, you know, in different place, shouldn't be. Uh, so here you will see, don't you see what 
what happened to the group of the children of Israel? This is the story. Chapter 2, verse number 246. You go read it. Allah, he command. It says that those, those people, they killed every single woman who is descended from a prophet of God, except one. And that one yes. gave birth to a prophet, Samuel. This is in their book. And then Allah commands Samuel to launch war against the Kuffar and kill them all. The Jews refused. They said no. And you will see yes. in the same verse says why. Read carefully. When he said to them, they said to him, appoint to us, appoint to us a messenger, a king. So we will fight for Allah in Allah way. He said, would you then refrain from fighting? They said, why we will refrain from fighting those who driven us from our homes and our children's and family are taken as captive. Do you see it? Yes, yes. This is the Quran. This is the story. So what they, what they did to them? They took their women, their children, and even they killed them. If you read the interpretation, they killed a lot of women and children. So, yes. Allah commanding them to go and kill them back as a return for their aggression. The Muslim, they say to you, why the God of the Christians commanding this when this is in their book? <laughs> yes, yes. I agree, I agree. Okay. So, but Thank here, you. Thank here, you my very friend, much. But here, you see, the Muslim, they take advantage of our ignorance. And yes. I, I'm not trying to insult you, but we have, you know, we don't have, we have lack of knowledge. And the Muslim, they will take advantage of you. So now you know the reference for that. Chapter 2, you can read it from verse number 46, 47, and you can read the interpretation for it. Ibn Kathir, Al Qurtubi, Al Jalalain, whatever you want. So Muslims, yes, I Muslims are a bunch of hypocrites. Same time, is Islam against the, killing the children? What they say to you, yes? Okay. Yeah, they would say yes, yes. No, they cannot say that because simply even the Quran confirmed that. Here we go. Yeah, I agree, but you know, they always say yes, Quran is peaceful, but when you look up, it's messed up. No. Oh, no, well, who cares what they say? So the Quran speak about the uh, uh, Azul Qurnayn, a fiction name, Muhammad, he copied from the legions of Galgamesh. He found a child, and this is child. He don't like him. He is going to be bad one day. He will leave Islam. So what they do? He killed him. Oh. So according to the Quran, if you suspect that a child one day, he might leave Islam, we kill him when he is a child. So what about a child already not a Muslim? Do you yeah. understand? If I can yeah. kill... <laughs> If I can kill a child, he is a Muslim, and he is a son of a Muslim family. Yeah. Why I will not be able to kill somebody? He is not a Muslim at all, and he is a child. Verse number 80, explain verse number 676. Yes, yes. Uh, verse number 74, sorry. So 74 is explained in 80, why he killed him. As for the boy, his parents were believers, and we feared lest he should oppress them. So what we do? We cut his head. Yet he is a little boy, and he is a Muslim. Yeah, I see. Crazy, man. All right, my friend. Thank you. I'm ha happy that you left Islam and you are a Christian now. Thank you very much. It was an honor to speak in with you, man. God bless you. Same here. God bless. Take care. Bye-bye, uh, bye-bye. Get, uh, get to go, the mic is yours, go ahead. From Hello? <laughs> yeah, uh, me and you had a uh, talk last time about the stone thing. Yeah, we were talking about... Uh, still, It's actually on YouTube as well. But I never got to diverse on that, but... Yeah. Yeah. Remind me, remind me, I don't understand, you know, what, what stone? Yeah, last time I was saying the stone is a stone, and then you were... Uh, not letting me diverse on what I was trying to say. Are we talking about the black stone? So I was to say, are we, to are we yeah. talking about the black stone? Okay, the stone is a stone. What does that mean? 
stone is just like a stone. It's not like very. It's not, it doesn't mean any significant. It's like only sites where you can get closer to. Like it's like a. It's a. It's not. It's an interpretation. It's in the sense of if you do this, you might. It's like a, it's showing. It's showing something. It's not like a pagan. Thing where you're okay. So like why, the why, why so like you're, a, okay, I will go with you. Why your prophet he kissed the black stone? He's just showing uh, to Allah like that it means something to him. Like why, it's not really why worshiping it mean, anything. Why, it's just like you just say Islam. Like, you just said Islam is not a pagan religion. So why kissing the stone will show Allah something? Don't Allah know everything? How I can show Allah? That I believe in him by kissing a stone. I'm listening. I don't hear you. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's like the uh, Bohemian Grove. It's like where they worship something, but they're actually doing some pagan, uh, pagan uh, ritual, the Zionists. But what's, what's this the, is not... What Zionist? We're talking about Muhammad. Is Muhammad a Zionist now? No, he's not. He's just... Okay, let me, repeat, let me repeat yeah. the question again. So, why I need to kiss the black stone to show Allah that I believe in him? What is the connection? Why do you, what, right. what why is the, the connection? Uh -huh. Why do we do... Uh, altars. Why do in history? Why do uh, like the red uh, hilfa, like the red cows? Why are they gonna? Why are the Jews trying to kill the, the those cows? And then the, the, now they're trying to destroy the Al Aqsa Mosque and then trying to build a new. What, what, are, you, what are you talking about? Hold on, my friend. So you are mixing things up. If, if let us say for the sake of argument, there is somebody is a Hindu. He believes that the the cow is his mother. You yeah. do you believe the black stone is your mother? No, because I have a common sense. And okay, I, I know. Who is the one who forgives sin? Allah or the black stone? Allah. If you kiss the black stone, does it forgive your sin? No. All right. Do you see my screen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Give me a second again, please. Yeah, because last time I was trying uh, to explain to you and then I saw people no that were uh no yeah, these people were, yeah, I was oh. talking to them afterwards and then they were swearing at me and then they were saying stuff like I was stupid and I was just saying oh, I never got enough time it's to say okay, what I wanted okay, to say. It's okay, it's okay. Yeah. So I asked you if the black stone erased your sin, you said no. So yeah. now if we show you that the black stone erased your sin, does that mean that you are pagan and worshipping a pagan god? I'm not pagan because I'm not worshipping it as if it's the uh, god of the gods. No, 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 no. okay. Just, uh, no, no. Who is the one who forgave your sin? Allah or the stone? Allah. If you kiss the black stone, is that going to erase your sin? Yeah, Allah said so, that's why. Allah said so? Yeah. Where Allah he said so, that if you kiss the black stone, your sin will be forgiven. Yeah, we know, like you said, it like we know. Um, uh, once you do it, you actually it's like a thing where uh -huh. Allah it shows that you came there and you did something where uh -huh. you're showing that you have the right. Uh, uh -huh. You devotate, yeah, like your <laughs> my friend. You are making me dizzy. You are all over. You are you religion. are all you are all over the place. Let us focus again. If I kiss, right. if I kiss the black stone, yeah, why my sin will be forgiven? You won't, because you have the intention. But if you were Muslim, like a, a Muslim on, uh huh, uh, then that'd be a different thing, because then you'd have the intention of going there and actually fulfilling the action, which would then mean something to the God, which you are showing this thing. So it's not like a one, a one. Uh, it's not like a real. 
it's not like the way you're trying to say it is. So what it is, why? So you, you are trying to avoid the question. If I, if Allah is the one who forgives sin, how by kissing the black stone my sin is forgiven? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that, like, once you, like, if you do that, like, you do certain things like that. If you do kiss the black, the black stone, and you, you, so you do go there, and you do kiss it, and you do perform the action. Uh -huh. It might seem like you're not doing anything, but it's like a form of worship to Allah because you actually. But isn't this is what like praying, isn't it this is what the, like, isn't it this is what the Arab pagan they do? The Arab pagan they used to kiss his stones till they worship Allah. They believe that Allah is the one who forgave their sin, but they kiss the same stone, the black stone, before Islam. Do why? Because they believe that the God will forgive their sin. No, those are the Muslims, the people that you're talking about, those are Kufar, those are not real Muslims. I'm talking about the real uh, Muslim one. No, no, no. You, know, uh, you see, why, why they are, yeah. uh, you, are the, you are the Kufar because you are doing the same as the Arab used to do before Islam, right? No, the Arabs you're talking about today, the Arabs that lived back then is a whole different thing because Arabs today is not the same kind of Arab. Ah, they are the same uh, Arab. The Arab at that time, they are different from the Arab today. Ah, okay. So yeah, the Arabs but, today, but I'm, not today talking about the, I'm not talking about yeah. the Arab today. I'm talking about, okay, you know what? I will go with you just to show how smart you are. Is the black stone in the time of your prophet Muhammad, is the same black stone you have today? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. All right. In fact, there's nothing left of the black stone. <laughs> Let me show you. And, you know, I hope you will not die laughing at what you just said. Because there's literally nothing left of the black stone. Let me show you. Give me a second. Here we go. This is a good picture, actually, which is big, big size. Look with me, what is inside the black stone? Nothing. It's gone. There's little tiny, little tiny. Do you see it? Look, the rest, all the brown you see is wax. So now, you kiss the black stone, is going to erase your sin. But there's nothing left of the black stone. You have wax. In fact, the picture you see in the top, they are doing maintenance to the black stone. And then in the top of that, they put in the top of it perfume. Because people, like I said, they make it smell so bad. And they put a liquid to cover the wax so it's not going to be dissolved by the heat. It doesn't matter what they're doing to it. it well, what kind no, of hold on. Yeah. But, but this is a proof that Islam is a lie. Because if the black it's stone, right. no, if the black stone is going to witness for Muslims, as your prophet said, in the day of judgment, and there's no black stone left. There's I, some black. I, where is the black stone? There's no black stone. Do you see? Look, look, count them. Small, tiny, little, tiny purples. You know, look, rocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's it. Where is the black stone? Where is Wait, the black stone? stone? Where is the black stone? Is going to witness for you in the thing in the day of really? judgment. But where do you think it's gone then? If huh? Uh, where do you think if it's not there? Where do you think it's gone? You think someone stole I it? will tell you. Al Qurmati, he took the black stone. He make it as a poop stone for a long, long time. He was pissing on it for twenty one years, and then the Muslim they paid him money to get it back. He gave them those little tiny rocks. <laughs> wait, wait. So he stole it. Wait, who uh, who who took the black stone? Huh? Wait, you said that someone stole it or something? Yeah, a guy, his name is Al Qurmuti. He came with his that? he came with his army, he destroyed the Kaaba, and not only that, he was shouting, Where is your elephant? Where is your birds? Because there's a oh, chapter in the Quran. He's a crusader, right? Was he a crusader or something or No no he is a, he is a, he is a Muslim Shia. <laughs> oh so he's a Shia, so that's uh -huh. what you believe that he did. But hold on, why are you changing the topic? What does this have to do with this? Who cares? Who is he? Even let us say he is a or let us say he is a Christian. Let us say he is a Hindu. Who cares? This is a proof that everything you have is a lie.
According to Muslims, Allah protect the Kaaba. Here we go. The guy, he destroyed the Kaaba. He took the black stone. He make it, according to you, the black stone erase your sin. You said, Allah, he says so. Okay, so this is the most part of the Kaaba. He destroyed the whole Kaaba. He took the black stone. He do it. He make it a poop stone for 21 years. And then in order to get it back, he did not give it to you back. He gave you steward through rocks. Look what you have. What is the stone? Allah could not preserve the stone? How you Muslim you want to, you, you Muslim kissing what? You are kissing the walks. Where is the stone? Still like, it's not like that, it's like, you can misinterpret things sometimes, like, you can be, in the, you can pray in the wrong Al-Aqsa or something, or you can be in the wrong thing. My friend, why are you are changing topic? What's wrong with you? I asked you from the beginning, you came to talk about, it's you who chose the topic, correct guys? Isn't it him who said, I was talking to you about the stone, and we went back to zero to talk about the stone? Okay, yeah. let's talk about the stone. I said, the Hadith says, your prophet said, that the black stone and the Yemeni corner, if you touch them, it's erase your sin. Yeah. I asked you why you do it, you said, because if you do it, you are showing Allah, whatever. Okay. Yeah. But According to your prophet, the black stone is going to witness for you in the day of judgment. Is that correct? Yeah. All right. But there's nothing left of the stone. That means the promise is a lie. How the, stone, how the stone will witness for you. According to your prophet, the stone is going to have a tongue, a mouth, eyes, and is going to right. witness for you. But there's nothing left. And what is the guarantee even that this is from the black stone itself? Because look at them. Each one of them has different color. How we know that this is from the black stone, the original one? We don't. Uh, so, with this, it's a very deep topic, but even if we don't know, if we do know, okay. it's still the intent, intention that matters at the end of the day. So, yeah. My friend, I'm going to change the topic just for your sake. Give me anything can prove to me Islam is from God. Anything. Yeah, like the prophecies or oh, in the future there's going to be. Uh, yeah, give me, give me, uh, give, me Arabs, give me, give me a prophecy. Who, give me a prophecy. Uh, like what? The the Arabs who are going to be in um uh, without even uh anything to wear and they're going to in the future they're going to be building high higher towers, like higher. That's buildings. wonderful. You see, look how stupid what you just said. I'm not insulting, by the way. You know, this is how I talk. So don't be offended. Oh, the prophecy of the Romans. And all, yeah, I think the Romans. No problem. Something okay, which one you want to talk the, about? About the Arab or the Roman? Choose one. Uh, one by one. The second one. The, the Roman? Romans. Yeah, the oh. Romans. Let us see. And you will laugh with me now about your prophet, about what he said. Look your what your prophet he said. According to your the, the, the miracle of the Quran that the, the Roman will be victorious, this is a prophecy Muhammad he said after the Roman became victorious. Mm. Read yeah. it, read it. How, how that is a prophecy? Yeah, right. Read it. Read it, read it. Yeah, so Abu said, uh, the deed, uh, narrated on the day of. But the, the Romans had the victory over the Persians, so the uh, the believers were pleased with that. Then the following was re uh, was re relieved. Uh, Aleph Lam Mim. The Romans have been defeated up to his saying. The believers will rejoice with the help of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Uh, thirty one of thirty one five. He said that so the believers were happy with the victory of the Romans over the Persians. So how this is a prophecy, if the prophecy came after the Roman became victorious. So your prophet, he prophesied the Roman would be victorious a day after the Roman became victorious? Let me oh, tell, you, let, let me tell you, I want to tell you a prophecy, but this is between me and you, please. Don't tell it to anybody. Trump, he will win the election in 2016. Okay. What do you think about my prophecy? Isn't it amazing? What would you say? Trump, he will win the election in 2016. Yeah. What do you think about my prophecy? I just prophesy about something happening already. So you're a prophet, he prophesy about something happening already. How oh, this is a prophecy? It says the Roman, they become victorious and the following verse was revealed. Yeah. 
Yeah. Hmm. Let me show you more as long we are talking about the Roman. So this is not a prophecy. This is a stupid thing. Let us see what your prophet said. According to your prophet, that the Roman, they will become the majority of mankind. Do you agree that judgment day will not come until the Italiano, they will become the majority of mankind? <laughs> Today. Huh? We don't know yet. If they, we don't know if... Uh, what Italy do you mean we know? We know uh, it, Italy is a small, tiny country and the population is shrinking. According to your prophet... No, yes. The ro the ro my friend, wh wh what do you mean we do not know? Already Italy. Oh, are you yeah. saying now the Italian, they will start having sex non-stop and women, they will have a billion child before they die? So we it's know... Easy. Eastern Orthodox, Eastern Orthodox Christians and near what, what Orthodox? The Roman, the Roman, the Roman, the Roman. What does that have to do with Orthodox? My friend, the Roman, the Roman. Roman is an ethnic. It's not about a church name, Orthodox or... Right. Okay. So, when, yeah, your like, prophet, when your prophet, he says, the Roman, they will be the majority of mankind. I'm trying just to find the Hadith. So, uh, was he saying the truth or he gave false prophecy? I think he meant that genetic material that makes most of people in Europe and today it comes from Europe like uh, it comes from like the Roman uh, lineage like as you go your ancestors wise I think most people are coming is from Europe is the European and, uh, okay I will go with you guys the Roman suddenly became you, the, uh, Europe all of Europe <laughs> <laughs> in the common ancestors like uh, okay Roman okay people. listen 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 duct tape cannot work this way is the European mm -hmm. I will go with you is the European or the majority of mankind I know like evolution theory and I know all about the ancestral genome. What? So, yeah, I used to study in evolution and abiogenesis and all that stuff. What uh, revolution? Yeah, what genesis? Oh, listen, I'm asking you a question. Is the European right. the majority of mankind? Not today, but it might be in the future. We don't know how, how long the... Uh, ah, the, this is about the day of judgment. Okay, long. all right. Uh, carry on. Ah, okay, guys, if except maybe in the day of judgment, there will be the majority. It's something we do not know. All right, but I will go with you. You said to me, you see, I wanted to remember this. You said this will happen in the day of judgment, correct? Yeah. All right. Let me show you first the reference before we move to that, because we will connect both together to what you mentioned to me. Right. You said you want to talk about the Arab. They build high building, correct? Yeah, yeah. All right. So let us go first here, and we will go to that one. And then you will see how Muhammad get busted by you. Thank you very much. So according to your prophet, and this is Sahih Hadith, as you see, that the judgment yeah. day will not happen. The last hour will happen when the Roman would form the majority among the people. Right. Okay. You said, we don't know that this will happen in the day of judgment. But now, if Muhammad is saying the truth, it should happen, correct? Yeah. All right. Let us go to different hadith and connect them together. And again, for those who do not know which reference I'm showing here, this is Sahih Muslim hadith number 2898B. All right. For those who they are watching in Rumble, YouTube, etc. Now, and always, by the way, if you want to find something, you can type the same words you see in the screen. You will find it in Google. Raise the screen and you can type it from your side. Now, yeah. Let us go and see the hadith, other hadith. And then we will connect the dots together and we will come to the conclusion if your prophet is a false prophet or not. Here we go. Your prophet, he described the Arab, they will build high buildings, correct? Yeah. All right. Let us see. Clicking the page is not opening. Let us hope it's going to open. Come on. All right, finally. Okay, read with me. You're a prophet based on what you said is a Allah, false prophet. Yeah, Allah Messenger, Allah's Messenger, uh, Muhammad uh, said that. The hour will not be established one till two big groups fight each other, whereupon there will be a great number of casualties 
of outside, they will be following one another on the same religious uh, doctrine to till about the 30 uh, the, the dog liars appear and each one of them will claim that he is Allah's subhanahu wa ta'ala's messenger Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said uh, yeah till the religious knowledge is taken by away by the religious by the death of religious scholars earthquakes will increase in number time will pass quickly uh -huh. uh, afflictions will appear al hajjaj i.e. killing will increase till the want of the ambulance so abundant that a wealthy person will worry less nobody should accept his zakat and whether and when whenever whenever he will present it to someone that person to whom it will be offered will say i am not in in need of it till the person completes with one another in constructing high buildings till a man when passing by a grave of someone will say would that I, I were in his place until the sun rises from the west so when the sun will rise and the people will see it rising from the west they will all okay that's enough that's enough rest. focus with me Mal. focus with me in order right. for the arab to build high building how many things have to happen first read with me right this is number so, nine this is number nine right the arab building okay. correct okay so yeah. first we should have people, they are self-sufficient, they do not need money no more, correct? Yeah. I am not in need of it. So if you offer him money, he will say, I am not in need of it, correct? Right. Okay, so now the Arab are building those buildings since long time ago. Is people around the world, including the Middle East, are not in need of money no more? I think they're talking about the rich man only. What? Don't talk about the rich no, man only. No, 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 no. Here we go. They should not accept zakat. Zakat, you give it to the poor. You don't give it to the rich. The, yeah. the, the wealth, the wealth will be abundance. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay. The wealth for everybody. So abundant that a wealthy person who will worry last nobody should accept his zakat. So the worthy person, the, the, the wealthy person, he want to give zakat, he want to give donation, but nobody needs it. He gives donation to who? To the poor, correct? He gives it to other rich people. Rich people, they give donation to rich people? Yeah, probably like their own family or something, or friends. According to your understanding, this is saying that the wealthy man, he gives donation to the wealthy man? Yeah, the other Muslim uh, Ummas and Empire, the Ottoman Empire, this is why they built so much. What, what, what? Hold trust. on, hold on, hold on. When a wealthy man, a Muslim man, he gives zakat, he give it to who? Uh, whoever he will, so mostly like poor person. Who? Poor person. Yeah, most of the time, yeah. All right. So now, the wealthy man, he want to give, because the wealth is so abundance. He want to give donation, but nobody need it. Correct? Yeah. All right. That's yeah. mean that everybody is having a wealthy life. Correct? Huh? Everybody have wealth. Nobody needed no money. Yeah. All right. But based on the order, as you see, the Arab, they will build high building after all those things happen. But this is mean Muhammad is a false prophet because until now in the Middle East, people are so poor and they are dying from hunger. They don't need it in the sense of they don't need it to survive, but they can survive. No, it says I do not need it. You offer it to them, they say I do not need it. Go to go, like go to Egypt. I can't, go, hold on, don't they make need, uh, my friend. Don't make things up. It says I offer zakat to who to the poor. Nobody, nobody will take it. Why? Because wealth is abundance. Yeah. So all the earth will have abundance wealth to the point yeah. nobody will accept donation from anybody. Why I want to take money from you if I don't need money? So if this is this is what happen before the Arab build I building, not only that, the killing will increase. Okay, how killing will increase, but wealth is all over the place. That's stupid. Time will pass quickly. Okay, now Emirat building high building. Is our day shorter?
<laughs> then he says that the, 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 the knowledge of religion will be taken away by the death of religious scholars. Is it, do you believe that nobody have religious knowledge about Islam no more? Is we do know a lot of religion is being like destructive, but it's not like no, no, no. We are talking about like, Islam. We're talking about Islam. So, yeah, do Islam. You, yeah. Do you believe there's no more Muslims have knowledge of Islam no more? No, there is a lot who still do, but the thing is that we all know like the Zionist American. Uh, but Abdul, don't mix, it, yeah. don't mix things up. What does Zionist have to do with this? Your prophet saying the knowledge about Islam will be taken away. What I mean, you Muslim, yeah. you see the Zionists in your dream. We are talking about your prophet speaking that Islam so, taking away yeah. the knowledge, the knowledge. Right. What does this have to do right. with the Jews? He's right though. Okay, so now do we have still scholars who they are Muslims or we don't have no more? There's lots of Muslims like in Saudi Arabia and in a lot of places who are not really... Answer me the question, the either you say yes or yeah. no. Yeah, yeah, I think a lot of Muslims are not no longer this Muslims. Is not the question. Just... This is not the question. Do you still have Muslim scholars who have knowledge about Islam now? Yes or no? No. All right. So, based on what you are saying, well, the judgment day started then, long time ago, because look, if this has happened, that means there's 30 that Jal, they came already. Can you name for me one? Hmm? <laughs> huh? no, it says, the it says there is 30 that Jal, 30 that Jal, they will come before that. You say that there's no more scholars. I agree, only Christian no, no, no. class. The only one. That, yeah, that the only one is a true scholar in Islam is a Christian prince. Thank you very much. All Muslims, they are not. Now... No, what I mean is that uh, the Messiah has to come here. Obviously, the, the world is waiting yet. Like, we don't know yet when he's coming. But Stop saying we don't know yet. This is how to ha Listen, no, you know. Because you said that the, the Hadith saying those things will happen before the Arab build high building. Stop ducking tape. I mean, what you are saying is so stupid, man. This is what happened before the Arab built high buildings. So the Arab, they are building high buildings since 70 years ago, thanks to the American and the oil. So now the Arab already have high buildings 70 years ago. All those prophecies, none of them happen. Hey, obviously, the Antichrist will be coming like, probably very soon. My like, friend, uh, what does have to do? Hold on. Stop talking about the Antichrist. You mentioned to me that the Arab, they will build the high buildings. And you say, this is a prophecy prophesied by Muhammad. Wonderful. But your prophet is saying, all those things have to happen. And this one will happen. So now, none of those things happen. Oh, it just happened. No. He said it happened. None of them happen. Okay, hold on. Two groups, two groups, two great groups, number of casualty will happen a war between two groups from the same religion. Can you name for me the war happened between two groups, which is the sign of the Day of Judgment, which is from the same religion? Uh, probably like what? Muslims, maybe, maybe Muslim, Sunni and Shia, or like some kind of different uh, sect somewhere okay. else. But this, is hap but this has happened since the time of Muhammad. <laughs> yeah, but every, yeah, but stuff like this, uh, true, like religions killing their own people who don't agree with their own sex, different sex. My friend, so <laughs> now, anyway. but, but you see, all of those provide to us a false prophet, because in order for the Arab to build high buildings, all those things before that point have to pass, including that they will be shorter. So the Arab, they build high buildings more than, in fact, the Arab, they have high buildings before Muhammad. You never heard of the buildings in Yemen? Yeah, yeah. 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 The building of Yemen, you know, uh, yeah. they, they oh, are oh, high oh. and there's many floors and they are Bedouin. They are bare feet. They don't even wear clothes, especially like, you know, the one who live the same way they live in the time of Muhammad. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so, what? So, oh, no. so all the prophecies is false. It doesn't really directly prove much for like... No, it's proved directly. Okay, hold on, my friend. Focus, focus with me. 
if the Arab will build high buildings, and this is a prophecy. This is a prophecy is number one, number nine, correct? Yeah. Okay. So now, in order for this one to happen, all the previous one have to happen. Do we agree? Yeah. All right. Is Let us go to the one before number nine right away. Are we in the stage where nobody need money? No, we need power. Nobody need money. We don't really want money. We want power, though. And don't what, what power? What power? My friend, what power? We are talking about zakat. I mean, I don't know what the, I, what the IQ you Thank have. You. Zakat is no, no. little money, is a percentage of money you give to the poor. Stop right. being a stupid. What power? So now, a no, rich no, man, no, 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 no. a rich, I'm calling you stupid no, because you give me an answer. I have nothing to do with the question. No, what power? No, no. What power? Did, did we mention power? Why are you talking about power? So a rich yeah. man, a rich man yeah. want to give donation. Anyone will accept it? No. Why? Because wealth is abundance. Is it correct? Yeah. Okay. So now, in order for the Arab to go to the second step to build high buildings, we should reach this point where nobody need money no more. Is that the situation in the earth? Now. No. Nah, no. So the Arab already built high building, correct? Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. me and your prophet made a false prophecy, because if this is what happened. Then yeah. the Arab will build high building, but this has happened already. The Arab high building long time ago, and nobody have wealth. What uh, what wealth you are talking about? Where people are desperate for food, for money, no, for no. water. Probably different interpretation or something. Uh, yeah. Different what? It probably just means something else, but like I don't really know. Ah, but a second ago it means build high building. Now it's built something else. It says like a donation. Nobody will accept. Does it say abundance of wealth? <laughs> you don't really know how deep it goes uh, in uh -huh. that sense. If you can look at it at the surface level, yeah, difficult. You really it. Yeah, yeah, it's difficult. So you see, everything you said to me is debunked so easy, and your prophet is a false prophet. Anything else? You have to prove Islam to be from God. This is alone is uh, enough. This is alone is it, it's enough to prove Muhammad is a fraud. Yeah. That's it. Muhammad is a fraud. He lied. I just want to talk about how I came to Islam and why I think Islam was true, why Islam is true. Why you think Islam so first, is true? Yeah. So first, I used to be an atheist. No. Yeah. I used to be an agnostic. I used to deny God's existence. Well, well, give me, give me a reason why you think Islam is true, my friend. Don't tell me your life story. Tell me why you think Islam is true. Because, like, looking at the universe and looking at the theory of evolution and abiogenesis, that life can come from a singular cellular uh, prebiotic ocean from uh, molecular life or proteins, molecules, amino acids. My friend, what, what, uh, hold, on, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What does it have to do with Islam? So now. We have earth, we have a sky, we have trees, we have birds, we have dogs, we have cats. No, 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 no. Okay. no. What does have to, yeah. what this have to do with Islam? No, no, I want you to tell me how you can prove to me Islam is the truth. Because there's no way that evolution... My friend, what does have to do with the evolution? Theory. My friend, my friend, focus with me. We Christian, we don't believe right. in such a garbage. We believe God created everything. So don't give me this garbage. Right. I'm asking you. I'm not an atheist. Somebody told you I'm an atheist? I'm trying to talk about why I'm not no longer atheist. exactly. So now, how we know Islam is the truth? Christianity does not believe in evolution. God did not create a chicken and yeah, then the chicken became a man. So now say. I'm asking you, you what is the proof? That, okay, no, no, I'm losing my voice. What is the proof that Allah is a true God? So, Allah is true God because there's no way anything can exist like this without a being of like one being, like not three gods at one time. So the thing is, Allah is like one God. Like uh, even if you say, "Oh, Jesus was the eternal Lord," with uh, 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 you know God and the uh, Holy Spirit, and they were controlling the, the they were living forever. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, guys, guys. Okay, Allah is one God. 
When yeah. you say Allah is one God, there is other gods. So oh, there's one uh, being who is uh, living on his eternally forever. Okay. So if Allah, uh, yeah. if Allah is only one God, how that prove that He is the Creator? Because it might be there's many gods from different kinds. So Allah is yeah, one God. One singular my friend, my friend. being. Okay. I have a chicken. It's one of its kind. Is that your God? No. Okay. It doesn't have any supernatural how many? Powers. How many iblis there is? Iblis. As far as I know, there's only one. Is that Shaitan. mean? Is, is that mean you are now believing in the oneness of God, which is Iblis? Uh, I don't believe. I'm not a Satanist, so I don't believe Satan is God. Okay, but you, you, you keep saying to me, he's one. Who cares about the number? Same time, we Christian, we believe in one God. We don't believe in three gods. We believe in one God. You don't agree with the Trinity? Who cares? Because at the end of the day, yeah, well, it's not you who right. decide, it's not you who design God, it's not you who say to God, yeah. if you're God, he said he's three, he's three and one at yeah. the same time, are you going to dispute with him? No. See? So you accept without even questioning, that means you are being hypocrite. Yeah, well, so either, yeah, well, either, you, we, either we accept God as he's saying, or we, dis yeah. uh, or we reject God if we don't like how we look like, or... How yeah, he is well, like, okay. If you read the Old Testament. All right, I right, want to go with you. I want to go with you. Allah is one God. Yeah. With one hand or two hands. Huh? Allah is one God with one hand or two hands. Yeah. I don't know because the eternal being has a choice. What? To create why is there something rather than nothing. The answer why there is something rather than nothing. God exists outside of space. Time. I am not Continue asking you. My, focus, focus. Why, you guys? Yeah. You need the patience of God. Help me. Your God is one God. He have one hand or two hands. I don't know. It just doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how okay. God's structured. If Allah is one God, do God need hands to accomplish things? No, I think the mind of God is so much powerful than the human mind. It just sinks it into existence. Well, if Allah, he call it hands, obviously it's hands. Yeah. Okay. So, if Allah is God, why he have two hands? He probably wanted to make it. Huh? Himself. What? He wants, to make, he wants to make himself have hands. So, he don't need them? Hypothetically, I guess he doesn't need it, but he wants it. Are you sure? Uh... I don't know, if, according to his character, I guess it's his choice and what he wants to do. His choice? So are you saying to me Allah have hands just to make himself look better? You don't use them? Probably, I don't know. Uh, just for like a decoration? Yeah, I don't know, yeah. Uh, okay. Well, the Quran says it clearly that Allah created Adam using his two hands. So, is Allah the one God in need of hands or he do not need hands? Probably, I don't know if he needs it or doesn't need it, but he, what? Did, obviously say, he did say he did do it with two hands, so probably he needed, he needed his two hands, I guess, yeah. Probably, probably. You see how you, yeah. you don't know anything about your God. A second ago, your God don't have hands. A second after your God have hands. A second before, do your God need hands to create? Uh, uh, no, I do not need hands. And then Allah, uh, did Allah create it uh, by his hand? No, he don't, do not need hands, you know, Allah. And then, okay, now Allah have hands. So you agree, whatever you show you, just because it's in the Quran, you don't discuss no more. So hear the hypocrisy. Either we accept God that he is almighty, he do not need to have hands, right? like the human, yeah. The Christian believe that Jesus came, he have two hands. But you know what? Yeah. Jesus, he came with two hands because he came to us in the image of a man. So that yeah. makes sense. Okay, Allah, now he is not a man. Now he I is know. not yeah. only an image of a man, he is using his hands to create. So now let us go back to zero. Do Allah need his hands to create? Yeah, what you're saying, okay. 
Okay, you're saying that your God doesn't need hands, but He came in the no, sense don't, don't of change, don't, 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 don't switch to my God. I'm asking you. Do your God, <clears throat> Allah, need hands to create Adam? Yes. Okay. I thought Allah, He said to Adam, be and He was. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's probably like a deeper philosophy, but like to it, but like, yeah, I guess, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I guess, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. You drive me crazy, man. You are making me dizzy. Honestly, I'm, I don't know. Thank God I'm not driving. I will have an accident immediately. Yes, oh, guys, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, take exit. What is that? So now, if Allah is God, why he have two hands and he need to use his two hands to create Adam? make sure that he actually exists ah so allah allah will not be exist unless he have hands yes <laughs> oh no <yeah>. really <laughs> is that because we the police will check his fingerprints so they can make an id for him In the matter topic will say, I guess the police are just human beings. Yeah, you know, no, if Allah, beings. are you saying to me, Allah, He cannot be exist, and there is no proof of Him unless He have two hands? I don't know. I haven't really seen Him, but yeah. But it's you who said to me to prove that He exists. He have hands. I haven't seen Him or not seen Him, so I don't. I'm not sure. All right, my friend. Thank you. Take take a hike. When you see him, let me know. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided. To follow Jesus, no turning back.